10. Lower, punt. At this time, I'd like to call up to the microphone Father Peter DeSantis for the invocation. Congratulations on this significant personal and institutional achievement. Sergeant McGrady, best wishes for a well-deserved retirement. Let us remember that we are always in the presence of God. A prayer for all concerned with law enforcement as amended from President Harry Truman. Lord, help me to be, to think, and to do what is right because it is right. Make me truthful, honest, and honorable in all circumstances, particularly where others are not. Make me intellectually sincere for the sake of the truth and without thought of any reward or any appreciation or acknowledgement. Give me the ability to be charitable forgiving and patient with my neighbor and with perfect strangers. Help me to understand their backgrounds, their motives, and their shortcomings, even as you, Lord, understand mine. Give eternal rest to all of the deceased of this department. Lord, send worthy members for a noble future. Let everyone say amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, have a nice round of applause for Father Peter, please. <laughs> Folks, at this time we have a very special guest with us this evening. Would you please welcome up to the microphone Sarah Mundy as she sings the Star Spangled Banner. Detail. Present. Arms. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming who's brought stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight For the ramparts we watch Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say, does that 
Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Detail, center, base. Ready, seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to invite up to the microphone the Chief of Police for the Township of Shelter Island, Chief James J. Reed. Thank you, Sergeant McGrady. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. The Shelter Island Police Department was established on September 13, 1971, as we embark on our 50th year of service to the community that we have taken an oath to protect and serve, there is not a better time to honor and thank those who have contributed to make the Shelter Island Police Department the professional, service-driven force that it is today. Community. The celebration of 50 years for the police department is simply a celebration of community. It is impossible to deliver quality law enforcement services without the support of this community. We'll make it better by fostering more supportive interactions. As I look at, around at everybody gathered today, we have so many people to thank for our successes. Our local government. The town board also sits as police commission, and today with us we have Supervisor Jerry Siller, uh, Deputy Supervisor Amber Brock Williams is not present, Councilman James Colligan, Albert Dixon, not present, Dorothy Ogar, our town clerk, and Robert DeStefano, our town attorney. From the school we have Dr. Dolger. Dr. Dolger, are you in the room? Can you just wait for us? All right. We have established an awesome relationship with the school. Um, I'll just give you a quick funny aside. We had barred chairs from the fire department to set this up, and, and uh, they weren't quite as nice as the ones from the school. So right away, when you, when you look around and look at community, this tent and everything under it is community. Uh, the fire department, Chief Anthony Ryder, I don't know if I saw Anthony. Um, EMS Chiefs, Mark Cornervogel and Phil Power, and the town highway department uh, superintendent, Brian Sherman. Beyond the local community, we have to recognize our relationships with the surrounding police agencies, which also enable us to succeed. The East End Chiefs, really in the last 10 years, have collaborated on shared services, especially during times of significant need. With us today from Riverhead Town is Chief Hagermiller, South Old Town, Chief Martin Flatley, East Hampton Town, Chief Mike Sarlo, the State Police, Captain William Hulse, the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, under Sheriff Steve Keyhouse, and some of you may remember Steve, he was also the Deputy Bureau Chief of the East End for the DA, for the District Attorney's Office, and now he's the under sheriff. Family. The fabric <clears throat> that has bound the police department for the past 50 years is family. Without our extended families, it's impossible for us to deliver our services. Our greatest thanks have to go to our wives, our parents, our children, grandparents, and our overall family support network. In 2005, <clears throat> when my son was 11 years old, he gave me a soccer ball representation of family, and it sits behind my office desk. I've slightly modified it for today, and this representation I plan to use as an aid to depict the police department today. The police department is like a soccer ball. Our community are the black and white spots always there supporting the police operation. Our faith is the strong leather covering of the ball that is always protecting us. Our continuous belief in each other are the stitches holding the department together. And our families are the air inside the ball providing the soul and the power. Past, present, and future. Each day, our officers look to take the extra step for this community, to honor our mission to protect and serve. The early years of the police department was focused on building the foundation and laying the path for a modern police agency. The police department has continually looked for ways to build on collaborative knowledge and wisdom that was gained through the first 25 years of our department. The current 25 years have been focused on professionalization. 
The investigation, the investigative section led by Detective Sergeant Tilburg rivals any large agency in investigations and skill and expertise. The patrol section led by Sergeant Terrence Legrady is the backbone um, of an effective agency. And finally, professional accreditation provides the guidance for both of these sections. Accreditation is a progressive and contemporary way of helping police agencies evaluate and, and improve their overall performance to build and enhance on professionalism. The Shelter Island Police Department began accredit the accreditation process in early 2000 and it was completed in 2009. The public deserves consistency in police operation provided in the most professional manner. The collective efforts of retired Sergeant Jay Card, retired Sergeant James Cronin, and Sergeant Terrence Legrady helped us to achieve and maintain New York accreditation for the past 12 years. The future. I am looking forward to the next 25 years and the future of the police department. Those here today have worked extremely hard over the past 50 years to build and professionalize the police department. We expect many of, many of you seated adjacent to this podium to continue that professional, hardworking tradition. Keep in mind that there should never be a day that goes by that you don't continuously work for ways to enhance our role in the community and to deliver a better service. This 50th year is an ideal setting for us to review our customs, practices, and procedures, to take a strong look at the way we deliver our services in the community, and to find a way to deliver them better. It is an adaptable and professional police officers of the Shelter Island Police Department who are most important to our future and who must successful, successfully and ethically perform their duty to accomplish the police mission. In closing, we are looking forward to the next 25 years and the 75th anniversary of the police department. We have great pride and respect for those who have served the police department in the past, continue to serve in the present, and who will someday serve in the future. Thank you. And thankfully, somebody marked the water bottle with my name on it. <laughs> Father Peter? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the department would like to remember the full-time police officers who have served the department and have passed away in the past 50 years by presenting a commemorative flowers to Shirley Ferrer in memory of her late husband, Chief George Ferrer. As most of you know, George died in his office downstairs, and it was about 25 years ago. So Shirley, we thank you for George's service, love, and respect. We would also like to remember Chief Howard Cronin, P.O. Ricky Mitchell, P.O. Patrick Gleason. Please take a moment of silence in memory of these officers. Thank you. I would now like to announce the roll call of retired and active full-time police officers by their date of import appointment. Please stand up if you are present and remain standing until the names are read. If you could also hold your any applause until the end, it would be most appreciated. Sergeant Richard Jernick. Chief George Ferrer. Chief Howard Cronin, Detective Ronald Jernick, Detective Arthur Springer, Chief Jeff Brewer, P.O. Ricky Mitchell, P.O. William Hanaberry, Sergeant J. Card, P.O. Patrick Gleason, Chief James Reed, Detective Sergeant Jack Tilburg, P.O. Walter Richards, P.O. Thomas Cronin. Tom's in the back. Sergeant Christopher Drake. Sergeant James Cronin. Sergeant Terrence Legrady. P.O. Michael Carrieri. Now working full time for Riverhead Police. 
PO, David McGahey. PO, Rebecca Pepe. PO, Anthony Rando. PO, Kevin Springer. PO, Andrew Graffinino. PO, Glenn Keel. PO, James Reed III. PO, Sean Clark. And PO, Keller Rando. The police department in the early years significantly relied on part-time police officers. At this time, I would like to recognize the prior part-time police officers in attendance, if you would please also stand. Uh, Joe Klenowickis, I thought Joe was gonna be here today, but he's not, Joe Klenowickis. George Rowland. Alan Salatka. Danny Binder. Patty McGehee, Stan Beckwith. I'd like to introduce our active Bay Constables, Albert Labrosi, Peter Vilbig, John Mahoney, and Bo Payne. As most of you know, or at least everybody standing here, it's really hard for us to operate with our, without our clerical staff, and they're so important to us, both past and present. I'd like to introduce the active full-time right now, Jennifer Bereski and Amanda Guccio. Other active employees are Jenny Zaylor, our animal control officer, Kathy Rasmussen, school crossing, Jared Hamilton, traffic control, and John Spinelli, our court officer. Thank you, and please be seated. In 2017, Linda Klenowickis retired as a police clerk, and the department did not have the opportunity to properly recognize her service and dedication. Today presents that opportunity, so I would like to call Linda up to present her with a plaque, and Sergeant Legrady to present her with some flowers. Tight. <laughs> okay, this is presented to uh, Linda J. Klenowickis, police clerk from 1988 to 2017, in recognition of her 29 years of dedicated service to the town of Shelter Island. Thank you, Linda. There are many other prior and current employees that worked in various capacities for the police department over the years um, that we did not name today. We thank you all for your service. But I would be remiss not to name one more, and that is Chrissy Gross for 30 years as a school crossing guard and her many nights as detention attendant. Chrissy? Thank you. In 2005, the police department was short several officers due to retirements, and we asked the state police to temporarily assist us to cover our tours. K-9 Trooper Kevin Drew, who recently retired, was assigned to the island community for several months. Unfortunately, Kevin could not make it here today, but I wanted to mention and thank him for his support and appreciation. But we do have Trooper Fabio Dano here. Fabio, can you stand up for a minute? Fabio has supported our police mission in many ways, helping us throughout the years. When Kevin Drew could not make it, Fabio gladly filled in. Fabio, we thank you for your service. Thank you. Also from the state, uh, is Paul Hatch here? Yeah. Paul, can you stand up? So back in the day, um, Paul worked for the DEC, and the DEC was regularly on the island. Paul made Shelter Island his home. He supported our mission in every facet. When we needed somebody from the DEC, Paul was always here. Paul, we thank you for your service. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce the town supervisor, Jerry Seller. Again, thank you all for coming today. 
to celebrate our 50th anniversary. I'm going to read. When I look out and see all the past officers, as well as our current ones, I'm reminded just how important a part of the Shelter Island community they all are. From our old timers, Dickie, Rick, Artie, Bill, Jeff, and Jay, to Jim, Tom, Walter, and Chris, who I saw from their swearing into their retirement, to today's officers, who for the most part all grew up here. They've always acted in a professional manner, as well as always been community oriented. You've always had You've always been the face of the community, the first responders, a calm voice when needed, as well as our protectors and our keepers of the peace. A lot of people think that being a cop on Shelter Island is a piece of cake. The reality is, it's not always easy to be a police officer in such a close-knit community. Our officers have to put aside their personal feelings and relationships when doing their job, and that's not always an easy thing to do. They need to be in contact with their friends and neighbors during some very difficult times to be able to offer and to be able to offer comfort and that's never easy. They also go to work every day taking on the same responsibilities as officers from much larger departments. And while we don't like to think about it, they put their life on the line every day they go to work. When the governor mandated that all municipalities address police reform throughout the state, I spoke with a representative from his office and explained to her that Shelter Island was a model for community policing, and if it's not broke, don't fix it. I was told that if we didn't submit a report, our funding would be cut off. We worked as a group with the community input to see how we might better our police department, and we did just that and filed our report with the state. In closing, I'd like to address our three senior officers. Detective Jack Tilburg has been an asset to the department his entire time on the force. Most people have no idea just how much police work goes on behind the scenes, and Jack is always leading that effort. Sergeant Terry LeGrady came to us after starting his career with the New York Police Department. The town had to make, make a special exception to allow him to work here because he wasn't a resident. If you know Terry at all, it's hard to believe he doesn't live here because he has made himself a very big part of our community. Finally, I had the pleasure of being the town supervisor when Jim Reed was appointed chief. I've had the opportunity to watch him grow in that role. Jim is well respected by his men, by his colleagues, by our elected officials both on and off the island, as well as the entire Shelter Island community. The town's unified command team worked throughout the past 18 months to try to stay as much ahead of the pandemic as we could. And without the chief's total involvement, I know we couldn't have had the success we did in protecting the people of Shelter Island. I want to thank you all, especially the Chief, and congratulations for the first 50 years. At this time, uh, before I introduce uh, the PBA President, Anthony Rando, I just wanted to extend my thanks also to uh, Sergeant LeGrady for helping put this uh, afternoon together. Um, but really, I have to thank the PBA also. The PBA, without blinking, was there to support um, the idea of having a 50th and then following up with a nice gathering at the firehouse afterwards. So I'd like to introduce uh, the PBA President, Anthony Rando. Thank you, Chief. It is a great privilege to stand before you today and represent my brothers and sisters in blue. Thank you everyone for attending. It's the, my brothers and sisters in blue that make this department so great. Over the years, the Shelter on PBA has worked hard to protect the members of this community and also foster strong relationships. Our union is more than an organization. We are a family that shares goals, morals, values, and an unwavering commitment to our community. Our union works diligently to ensure our members have the benefits they need, a wage that will allow them to live on Shelter Island, which we all love so much, time off to spend with our families, and legal protection should something go wrong. The men and women that make up the PBA are part of the fabric of Shelter Island. We care about the people we serve, and our members are committed. 
We all wear many hats, including sports coaches, Lions Club members, DARE officers, volunteers, local church parishioners, Boy Scout leaders, firemen, EMS personnel, veterans, town committee members, and numerous other activities. The PBA has organized numerous events and traditions over the years. About 20 years ago, Buddy the Elf, AKA Thomas Cronin, started our PBA Christmas Caroling. This event is an event where officers throughout the year build great relationships with our senior community. We respond over and over again to the same houses for lift assist and medical calls. And at these calls, we make some really good friends. So on December 20th, right before we start to organize our PBA Christmas party, we set out, we put our list together, we get our route, we welcome island families to the police department here, load up in the back of pickup trucks, and we bring the holiday spirit to those who can't make it out for the holidays. Thank you, Tom, for starting this tradition. You left it in good hands. Probably the best day in school for kids, aside from the last day of school, is bike day. This is a day where the members of the PBA teach students bike safety. I remember the first time I attended bike day, I was amazed how Walter could pretty much set up the course with his eyes closed. Once the course is set up, we help parents unload their children's bicycles. We tune up the bikes, we do some safety talks, and then we run our students through a rigorous course, which includes turning, stopping, crosswalks, and hand signals. The best part of that day for many of us is watching Dave McGahee operate the figure eight. <laughs> Not often do you see a member of the police department flex their seniority in the PBA, but it is an unwritten rule that Dave owns the figure eight. One of our newer traditions includes having dinner with the group home in South Old. Chief Reed has cultivated an admirable relationship with Weston over the years. This relationship has allowed us, and we're very fortunate for this, to develop a relationship with many of Weston's housemates. We, we all load up into two or three patrol cars with food and gifts. Weston, there you are, buddy, thank you. And we head over to the South Old group home for a night of conversations, opening presents, yep. solving cold, ca cold cases with hot dog, and some of Glenn's first class dancing. Yeah. We are extremely grateful for this event as it's very rewarding for us. As a PBA, we are extremely grateful for the financial support of our community, which allows us to provide our members with the benefits and the ability to give to those in need. As you all know, our membership, both active and retired, is filled with very generous people. Through our line of work, we often see a different side of Shelter Island. We see children who are neglected. We see victims of domestic violence. We see senior citizens who can't afford to, afford to put food on the table or heat their homes, but have too much pride to ask for help. We see people battling addiction, people suffering from mental illness, and numerous other problems. I am proud of the empathy and compassion the members of this department show to our community. Not only do we lend a shoulder to cry on, but we are committed to taking the extra step. We are blessed to be able to help some of these victims through financial means, such as providing emergency pendants to domestic violence victims, providing Christmas presents to families in need, and buying IGA cards, gift certificates to people who need food. We also donate to numerous charities, including the Special Olympics, ARF, the Snapper Derby, Student Scholarships, the American Legion, the Ronald McDonald House, the Friends of the Shelter Island Library, student field trips, and much more. In the past 50 years, policing nationwide has seen its ups and downs. From the years following 9-11, where officers were praised everywhere they went, to 2020, where law enforcement was seen as public enemy number one in most of our country. When NYPD officers were being assaulted and spit at, our members were receiving praise and support from our community. Last year was a true testament to the relationship that PBA founding members, with the assistance of Chief Grattan, 
built with our community and our membership continues to force it today. Our membership has been blessed with the love and support of our families. Being a police spouse is not easy. Trying to plan around our midnight sleep schedule to being awoke by the sound of our Velcro after a 3 to 11, to never knowing when we're gonna get recalled and the dirty looks you receive at the post office from the person we arrested last night. It takes a special kind of person to live this life and we love you all for it. The PBA cannot function without the department office staff. Jen and Linda kept us up many midnights with the coffee always fully stocked. And Amanda and Jen have provided one-on-one -on -one Microsoft Office training. I'm proud to say Dave can now open up the Excel by himself. <laughs> I would like to thank our current and past town supervisors and board members for supporting us and treating us fairly. Our union strives to provide shelter on with the very best service. And we thank you for providing us with all the necess necessities, including training, equipment, staff, and support. Thank you. As our island continues to change and evolve, the Shelter Island PBA will be a rock which this island can depend on. Thank you. I'd like to ask everybody to direct their attention to the screens for a video montage. Thank you.
yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you, oh, find out what we're made of, when we are called to help our friends in need, you can count on me, like one, two, three, I'll be there, and I know when I need it, I can count on That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah You'll always have my shoulder when you cry I'll never let go, never say goodbye That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 ooh. You can count on me cause I can count on you You're better than the best I'm lucky just to linger in your light Cooler than the flip side of my pillow That's right Completely unaware can compare to where you sent me Let's me know that it's okay Yeah, it's okay In the moments when my good times start to fade
were gone I'd work for all my life And I had to start again With just my children and my wife I thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA From the lakes of Minnesota To the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas from sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston And New York to L.A. Well, there's pride in every American heart And it's time we stand and say That I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up Next to you and defend her still today Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land God bless the USA Can you just come up one moment, please? So for some of you who know me pretty well, um, I like sports and I like to uh, pre and post game in my head. So as we were watching that, I was already doing a post game and I realized that I neglected to um, recognize uh, Captain William Hulse from the State Police. Captain, I, I feel like I didn't mention your name. Uh, I, I didn't want to leave today without recognizing the State Police and their significance to, to our community. So. For those of you who are Facebook friendly, the link for that uh, montage will be posted on our Facebook page. If you would like to send me an email direct, I'll be happy to send you the link so this way you can have it for the rest of your lives. That is very special. Uh, some of the photos up there are unbelievable. But um, once again, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is invite up to the microphone Sarah Mundy. She'd like to sing God Bless America to us. Sarah, come up. Folks, can you all please rise? Thank you. I'm going to sing America the Beautiful because that's what I practice. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea oh beautiful for he proved in liberating strife who more than self their country loved and mercy more than life America America may God thy gold refine till all success 
be nobleness and every gain divine. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. She is absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shelter Island Town Police Department would like to thank Sarah Mundy, the Shelter Island Lions Club, and Historical Society, in style party events, and the members of the Eastern Long Island Police Pipes and Drums, who will now take us out. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. We'd like to thank you all for coming and for your continued support. Please get home safe. Just a reminder, we'd like you all to please uh, join us across the street for some food and drink over at the Center Firehouse. Thank you. <laughs>